there is so much change that the Word of God can bring about in your life. So many changes can be seen in one's life who begins to spend time with God through His Word. Writing to the Hebrews in chapter 4, verse 12, Paul writes in this power-packed verse, The Word of God is living and is powerful. It is sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Clearly, Paul believes and he knows that the Word of God has power, not forgetting who the Word of God is in John chapter 1, verse 1. Writing to the Romans again in chapter 12, verse 2, he commands them to not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of their mind, uh, that they may prove what is that perfect, that good, that acceptable, and perfect will of God. Talking about being transformed by the renewing of our minds, that will set us apart and cause us to not be conformed to this world. Our minds cannot be transformed while watching pointless movies or listening to pointless music or reading pointless materials. I'm talking about uh, study from the bottom now in Norway or uh, pointless series that are flooding media now. The renewing of our minds can only be done by He who created our mind, and that is God. Spending time with God through His Word has got so many dividends. I encourage you today to Commit to starting your day with the Word of God and going through your day with the Word of God as well as ending your day with the Word of God. With the Word of God, When you saturate your mind with the Word of God, there is no room, no room whatsoever for any of the enemy's material to sit on your mind. Though sometimes they do sit there, but when you have the Word of God, you are able to respond with it is written because you've been spending time with the Creator through His Word. May God bless you as you delve into personal Bible study, as you spend more time with God, getting to know Him better through His Word.